Hey there, this is uh, the harmonograph that I built. Uh, you said you wanted to see a picture. Basically, it's a uh, piece of uh, plywood, about uh, three by three square, uh, standing about three and a half feet off the ground with dowels that are about four feet long, extending about three feet down. You can see that there's weights on the bottom of the pendulums and there's three pendulums. Um, the pendulum right here and the one over on that far side are set at 90 degrees to each other and they have uh, little uh, pin pivots, the screws going through the plates into little sockets so it swings quietly and then uh, up here you see right there that is a uh, magnetic uh, sphere uh, that's glued onto the end of each piece of wood and acts as a uh, 360 degree hinge with little or no uh, backlash and then there's two spherical magnets right there as well so I'm going to see if I can set this in motion for you, so hold on a second. I need to get the uh, pen cap off, like that. And we'll, uh, okay, hold on there. And what we do here is start this rocking like this. See, so that one's now rotating. Now we start these pendulums going here and set it down. And there it goes. So you can see that there's three pendulums moving. This one down here isn't moving very much. So it has a smaller amplitude. The one on the far side there has a slightly larger amplitude. And those two are linear, and then you can see this one is in uh, two dimensions, going in a circle. So if we go up here, we can see the pair naturally drawing. Get a little bit of skipping of the pen occasionally, but that's not too bad. You can change the patterns depending on the um, amplitude at which you start each pendulum and uh, the length of each pendulum. So at the bottom of each pendulum, I actually have a series of holes that I can actually put screws, uh, a screw in to actually raise or lower the, uh, uh, the weight. And that changes the period of the pendulum. And that way, two pendulums have... Po uh, opposite uh, periods so they kind of counteract each other and depending on how well you get that harmonic set up depends on how how neat of a uh, de uh, design you're going to get these are a couple of the designs that I've already done this afternoon I think that one right there is probably the nicest one I've, I've done so far it's really pretty neat um, that one's fairly simple, but it's got uh, some pretty neat stuff in it. Uh, that one's kind of neat. Um, you know, uh, you've got a real sort of three-dimensional kind of a feel with that, with the uh, sort of uh, zigzagging pieces. That one's a bit random. Um, and this one actually is actually fairly similar to what's actually being designed right now you can see right there I think I've got that in frame yeah there we go it's a similar uh, just a little bit larger I think I started it with uh, higher amplitudes but I think I had the uh, the weight set in approximately the same um, locations so the harmonic between the two pendulums uh, will be very similar So that's uh, 
That's uh, a harmonograph. <laughs>